right, today I'm heading shrimping. It's been over a year since I've been shrimping. So I'm gonna try this time, and that way I can get some shrimp tonight. Because last year, uh, it was a fail. I only went once uh, shrimping last year. I only tried one time to go shrimping. And this year, the same thing. If I don't catch nothing this time, I'm not coming back this year again. I'll skip the whole season. If I catch something tonight, then I'll come back soon and get some more shrimp. Uh, back in the day, I'm talking about seven, eight years ago, I used to catch five gallons worth of good shrimp. But lately, I haven't been successful at shrimping. So hopefully tonight, should be there in about one more hour. Waiting for my GPS to load up. It's only four feet of water here, very shallow. You want to check out this little K here? back here about a year so let's see what it looks like every year I come this little case smaller it's losing vegetation water level going up little by little bit we're losing the cave See, there's a sandbar right there. Very dangerous, people, if they don't know it. Big sandbar there. There's another sandbar over there and something is submerged over there. It looks like a log, a tree or something. Right over there, if you can see it. Pretty dangerous. If you don't see that log there, you're gonna hit it. it used to be so big. There used to be trees from way over there, all the way to over there. But with time, and we used to camp at that cave before, but with time, that cave's been disappearing.
All right. I'm spot locked already. And the shrimp is probably going to be coming through here. So all that islands there. And also on the other side too. So the good thing is usually you have to come here with two anchors. Throw one anchor forward and one in the back. And what's going to happen is you're going to lose one anchor. Because there's so many anchors and ropes stuck here. I could anchor uh, here and save my battery. But these lithium batteries are so good that it doesn't matter. Plus, I'm going to turn the generator in a little bit. So I can... Uh, heat up my dinner right now it's about 55 to 60 degrees but tonight it's gonna drop it's gonna drop uh, probably to the 40s Those are dolphins right there. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Ah, they're looking for bait. All right, and for dinner, what I have is a breaded chicken breast filet. It's ready for batter. Uh, it's been cooked already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat it up. Here, the generator is running really hard because this takes a lot of water. I throw some bread there and the birds are going crazy. It's going to be a beautiful night. Uh, clear skies. All right. The chicken is already done. The bread is already toasted. Nice chicken breast. Tastes delicious. It says low wake here, but people treat it like there's no wake. That's why this pilings here are getting all messed up right there. There's missing pieces of wood of the piling because these inconsiderate boaters, they go through here like they own the place. And we, the taxpayers, always got to pay for this destruction. And they're just going up their business. And it says here, slow speed, minimum wake, right? Uh, they don't believe on that. And nobody's here to enforce anything. So. People do whatever they want. Actually, the third yacht that goes through here and it's flying. It's going like 30 miles per hour right through here. They just don't care. Destroying the property of the taxpayers, which is us. So let's see what happens today because I don't, I don't feel too confident today. I'm going to go to uh, Mosquito Lagoon smaller channel uh, I'm not confident that I'm gonna catch nothing here so I'm gonna head over there now pick up the Minn Kota and just go all right it shouldn't take that long to get there it's only about seven miles see how that goes here.
haven't been back here probably eight years. I don't like coming here because you gotta be close to the bridge. And being close to the bridge with the Minkota, if the Minkota shuts off, it's really dangerous uh, to maneuver this boat. All right, so I am very close to being under the bridge. This is uh, another place that I come shrimping. Like I said, in the past, it's been about eight years since I don't come here. Due to this area, it's very hard to maneuver the boat here. The knife's almost here. Looks like the moon is coming up. I got something here. What is this? What in the world is this? Looks like a shrimp. I've never seen nothing like this. Hmm. Very weird. I'm gonna let it go because I never seen nothing like this before. All right, I put a little bait there. Let's see what happens. Uh, they tried to bite it. Ah, uh, they bit it off. Got another one right here. They're really easy to catch. Let's see what happens. heading out it looks like the shrimp is not running so it's about nine o'clock I'm just gonna head home yep I can say it was a total failure got that weird shrimp that was it 
So I'm not gonna waste my uh, night in here. I'm just gonna go home and go to sleep. I'm not gonna waste my night in here um, waiting to see if shrimp is gonna run or not. Uh, other than not catching shrimp, tonight was really relaxing. Yeah, this is the last time I'm gonna try shrimping for this year. I always try it once. Just got that weird looking shrimp. Look at that, a shuttle. A shuttle just leaving right now. That is awesome, look at that. Just left right now out of Cape Canaveral. And the moon is right over there. It's incredible. Oh, you, you can listen to it right now. Last time I was here, there was uh, also a shuttle left the same day. Yeah, that was awesome. Last time I was here, there was also another shuttle. All right, keep on going. All right, I'm here. Alright guys, thank you for coming along the trip, thank you for watching, and always navigate safe.